Hi, everybody. Jeff Howard from SFMSports.net alongside Graham Miller and Allie Andrejack. After the Stevenson women prevail over Hood tonight by a score of 4 to nothing, I'll start with Coach. And, Coach, uh, a bit of a slow start for you guys in that first half. Just one goal, even though you did have 11 shots. Uh, was there a halftime team talk in there to try and get the offense going a little bit? How was that taken in the first half? Well, if you look at, um, you know, what we've come up with, uh, you know, with the games we've had, every team that we've played against has been, you know, straightforward. This is the first team we've played this year where they've packed it in. Um, so, you know, they had all 11 players behind the ball. Um, we were trying to do our normal game plan, which is, you know, trying to get the ball in behind them, but uh, th that space wasn't wasn't there. So we told them at halftime, you know, we only had 10 shots, I think, or 11 shots and only two on goal um, and a lot of goal kicks for them right. because we just kept on, you know, hitting shots from distance and, and things like that. And, and our crosses weren't going to our players' feet. So we just said, look, let's see if we can get, we can combine, get the ball down. It's definitely, you know, it was a difficult night to play soccer, you know, tough conditions to get that first touch in the pass. So... Uh, after that, you know, we settled down second half, and, and there's two ways to beat teams like that. Number one, you have to really combine and, and be quick with your play. It's hard when it's this wet. And then the other one is to hit some long-range bombs, which mm -hmm. we did tonight, so that was good. Uh, talk about the opposite side of the ball, your defense not allowing any shots through 90 minutes of play. You have to be impressed with your back line tonight. Yeah, the back line was never in trouble. I mean, like I said, that's the way Hood had set up. You know, they set up to play, you know, with, you know, uh, you know, all 11 behind the ball. So they weren't looking to, you know, get any offense. They were looking basically to, you know, hope to get a tie, maybe get one goal and a breakaway. They had one corner, you know, and, and they've scored from some corners. So the defense just were focused. The goalkeepers, all three of them were focused. And, um, you know, they didn't give any chances to the other team. 2-0 and in the conference now. Uh, you're back four wins, one behind, uh, one loss uh, behind 500, I should say. First road test coming up against Widener. Well, skip Messiah for now. I know that's a big one coming up back at home, but uh, give me the game plan here for Widener coming up. Well, quite simply, we've got to be better on the road. You know, we've played, uh, we haven't won a game on the road yet. So uh, this is the big test for us. Can we do it on the road? You know, we got, we did what we had to do, you know, 2-0 and at home. So now it's the, the question is, can we go to Widener? It's an early game, 12 o'clock. Can the girls get fired up for it? Can they produce the same performances over this last week and, and do the deal? So we know, we'll, we know Widener pretty well. They've got a new coach. They've got um, a lot of players that graduated. You know, they've got, had some good results. So we'll do our homework. We'll get our scout reports, and then we'll be ready for Saturday. All right. Coach, good result tonight. Thanks again for joining us. And we'll, and we'll switch over to Ali Andrejack, who got her first goal in the season. It was actually the fourth goal of the game. Ali, uh, talk to me a little bit about that goal, and you also set up Molly Malloy on the third goal. Uh, talk to me a little bit about uh, how you played a factor in the game today. Well, Molly, we were, we were struggling a little bit to get our uh, crosses up and in. So I saw Molly was wide open and on the short corner, so I played her to the top of the 18, and she just had a great shot up ripped it and then I got um, space away from my man mark in the middle and I looked up and I was like I'm just gonna shoot it <laughs> <laughs> you, you guys both had some long distance shots that fired right into the bar it was pretty yeah. impressive um, you guys the offense came alive in that second half but as I talked to coach uh, your defense really stepped up tonight as well talk a little bit about them I feel so comfortable with our defense behind us with Emily La Squadra is leading it, and she's such a strong presence back there. And everyone, Kaylee Yaps is another one who came back and is a senior, and the freshmen who have come in have stepped up so much. And so I speak for myself, and I know for the rest of the team, we feel so comfortable having them back there because they consistently sh um, show up for us. Give me your uh, game plan here coming up, your first road conference game. Uh, what needs to be done for you guys to get back to 500 overall? Well, we had to win in overtime, <laughs> which we did last uh, Saturday. Right. And then we had to, once we did that, we opened the floodgates and started scoring. So right. now we need to uh, win on the road, and then we're good to go because then we've done all of it. All right. Well, good result tonight. A goal and assist for you. Congratulations. And Thank you. good luck the rest of the way. Thank you. Alejandro Jack and Graham Miller with me after the Stevenson women prevail 4 nothing over Hood at Mustang Stadium.